Are you sick of being uncomfortable in your basic task chair? If so, you should consider buying an ergonomic chair that adjusts to fit you. In this video, we're gonna cover the top nine ergonomic adjustments that you must consider. Shopping for office chairs? BTOD TV is your number one resource for everything office chairs. Subscribe today so you don't miss out on any of our future content. Hi, I'm Robert with BTOD TV. It's time to stop trying to fit in your chair, but instead find a chair that you can adjust to fit you. In this video, we'll cover those nine fundamental ergonomic adjustments and also talk about a few adjustments that aren't always found on chairs, but they can really add a lot of value. Before I get into the individual adjustments on the chairs, I'm gonna talk about how our scoring system works. So each adjustment has a potential points available out of 100. The more important that we feel an adjustment is, the more potential points it has. The first adjustment we're gonna talk about is basic seat height adjustment. Now, this is what we consider a must-have adjustment, and that's why we give it a potential points of 16 out of 100. Now, having your correct seat height is essential for having all your other ergonomic adjustments work well together. The ergonomic standard for seat height to fit the 5th to 95th percentile is to have your seat height be between 16 and 21 inches. Now, the correct way to get your seat height to fit you properly is to have your knees at a 90 degree angle and your feet flat on the floor. The next adjustment we're gonna talk about is seat depth adjustment. Now we consider this to be a very important adjustment, so it gets 16 potential points out of 100. Now this is an important adjustment, but you won't find it on every chair, so be sure to check if you're looking at buying a new ergonomic chair to check to see if it has this adjustment. Seat depth adjustment allows you to change the support beneath your legs and fit it for shorter or taller users. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. First, I'm gonna slide it back and then move this seat depth forward so that it fits me properly. And I wanna have about an inch between the back of my leg and the front of the seat pan. The next adjustment we're gonna talk about is back height adjustment. So this adjustment isn't quite as important as the others for all users, so it only has a potential points of four out of 100. Back height adjustment is especially important for taller users because it allows you to fit a chair to encompass your full back. Now I'm actually the tallest in the office, so I like to find chairs that do have back height adjustments so that I can make sure they fit me properly. Now the Ergo Human here is a perfect example of how I can change the back height to fit me properly. I'm gonna move it up here. And on some chairs, like the Ergo Human, the lumbar is actually built into the chair. So by changing the back height, it also adjusts the lumbar to fit me properly. So now we're gonna get into a few arm adjustments. So the first arm adjustment we're gonna talk about is the height. Now this is the most basic and commonly found adjustment, but very important so we give it 13 possible points. Now the point of the arm adjustments is to really give you the correct position for your arms to be typing. Now I'm gonna show you with the desk here. You wanna get those arms at the right position so that your arms could be in a proper typing position to relieve any pressure off your neck and shoulders. The next arm adjustment we're gonna talk about is arm width adjustment. We consider this to be another very important adjustment, so it gets 13 potential points. So arm width allows you to adjust the width of the arms to fit the individual. So if you have a wider frame, you can move those arms out, smaller frame, bring them in. Now this is important because if your arms are too wide, you're likely to be uncomfortable and just discontinue using the arms, which is bad for ergonomics. So I'm gonna show you a little bit how this looks. I'm using the Affirm chair here, which actually has two different styles of arm adjustment. So these arm pads can move out and in, and then the entire arm can move wider or in. The third type of arm adjustment we're gonna talk about is arm depth adjustment. So we don't consider this to be as important as the height or the width of the arms, so we only give this four potential points. Now this can be especially nice depending on what kind of desk or what kind of workspace you have. So I'm gonna show you a little bit how this works. Let's say you wanna be able to pull up real close to your desk. If you have arm depth, you can move that back so you can get up nice and close. 
and still have support under your arms or else if you work further back, you can slide that arm depth forward and still keep support underneath your arms. So another thing to consider with the arm depth adjustment on your arms is what happens to your arms while you're reclining. So on many ergonomic chairs, the arms are connected to the bottom of the seat. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like. If you have a chair that has arm depth adjustment, when you recline, you're able to move those arms back so that you can still remain in a comfortable position. I'll show you what it looks like. If you, don't, if you didn't have that and your arms were stuck forward, you'd have a larger gap here. So with arm depth adjustment, you can slide it back and still remain comfortable. So the last arm adjustment we're gonna talk about is arm pivot, which also gets four potential points. So the arm pivot adjustment allows you to customize the fit for your forearms. Now I'll show you what this looks like. By adjusting the pivot on your arms, you can personalize the fit for different types of typing or tasking applications. Having good lower back support is very important when shopping for a new chair, which is why we rank lumbar adjustability so high on our list of importance, giving it 16 potential points. This is reaffirmed by how often we see back support or lower back pain paired with office chairs when searching for new, buying a new office chair. Getting that support in the correct spot is very important, so that's why lumbar adjustability is very important. So I'm gonna show you on the CXO here. This chair actually gives you lumbar height adjustment, and it also gives you lumbar depth adjustment. So you can kind of fine tune where that lumbar support is and how much support you get. So depending on how you work at your desk, having multi-position tilt lock may be important to you. Now most chairs will come with between one and four positions you can lock, some having infinite position tilt lock. So to explain how the scoring works for this section, if a chair has one position tilt lock, it'll get one point. Two to three positions, it'll have two points. Three to five positions, it'll get three points. And if it has infinite position tilt lock, it'll get four points. Now let me show you what this looks like. Right now this chair has the tilt lock in the upright position. Then if I wanna be reclining, I can unlock it for this full recline. So the last ergonomic adjustments we're gonna talk about are additional or sort of extra adjustments that some chairs have. Now these won't be as common as the first nine we've talked about, but they can be really helpful or necessary for certain groups of people. So some examples of these additional adjustments include adjustable headrests, forward seat tilt, or weight activated recline mechanisms. There is up to five additional points for these with each extra function scoring two points and if a chair has three of them, it will max out at five points. So I hope this video helped you in finding what ergonomic adjustments are gonna be most important for you when you're searching for a new office chair. I know for me, the freedom here is my personal choice right now. This is what I sit in every day. It has just the right ergonomic adjustments to fit me perfectly so I can sit ergonomically and just be really comfortable. If you're looking for more resources, we have a lot of videos on different ergonomic adjustments for some of our most popular chairs. So you can check those out on our YouTube channel. So if this video was helpful for you, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and ding that notification bell so you're notified next time we have a video come out. Thanks a lot for watching.